how do you ensure that you always keep up with trends and is that putting any pressure on you when you try to uh, translate it back to your content um i think actually i like that pressure i think because of i have to force myself um to create content each week so i only have like a format in mind so for example um i should post like um some thoughts on news or some like polls on news or some mm -hmm. you know uh a fundamental knowledge about web3 or like finance or like you know one motivational like like inspiring story or something so um because of i have those structure in mind so i was really seeking information in the space so for example i would read like i'll listen to like podcasts on news every morning so i would be well informed on like what's going on in the world and um so and like for, as for like crypto related things there's so many great newsletter and podcasts i would just subscribe to everything and then i would at least like scan on the titles and like mm -hmm. just like study is something that i just personally really a deep believer in the one percent rule like you just need to be one percent better than yesterday i'm just that person <laughs> it's, it's I good to get these stories from from people and share it with the others right so yeah, yeah. I don't believe in like one day just like you wake up and then you will just know everything um, because like English is my second language. So when I was studying English, I would just like try to have a conversation in English every day. So like, I mean, that's like my goal. And then like, I don't really see myself having a giant improvement until maybe years later. And I was mm. always conscious about like do I have accents or something so it's like similar I think learning about crypto or learning about web3 is similar to learning a different language so yeah. um my plan is just to you know be one person better than myself yesterday so I don't believe like I will never like be as ex like having the same amount of ex expertise as some of the mega web3 crypto guru but I feel like just by being in the conversation, hearing right. what's going on, studying something that I don't know from yesterday. And I think those steps will cumulatively make me a better a person in this industry. Yeah, I think this matters more, the attitude to be one person. And I, I actually love that, to be one person better than how you were yesterday and sort of go towards learning something that you, you still haven't known about. And it's mm -hmm. consistency at the end of the day. Like you said, it's going to be a little steps towards the larger goal but it's good that you've gotten the example of uh, learning a language that's not native i think most of us uh, learned english as a second language and definitely mm -hmm. that's how we would have learned as a, as being a child and often mm -hmm. we don't get back to those experiences like how did we pick up a language how did we pick up a certain hobby it was because we did that almost every day like getting mm -hmm. towards the goal closer every day little by little Mm -hmm. So, of course, when we grow into adults, we suddenly think, oh, I want this like tomorrow. I want to get this like tomorrow. But mm -hmm. that's, that tomorrow is going to be a lot longer than what we expect. So, uh, very true.